welcome everyone so today we are going to understand mean value theorems okay this particular topic has three theorems in it and first theorem which is called as rolls theorem today we are going to understand how to solve questions related to rolls theorem okay so now students what happens over here is that like in any theorem you have certain prerequisite if these prerequisites are matched then you can use the conclusion of the theorem and find your answers okay so over here we have f of x which is to be continuous in an interval of a comma b okay this is your first prerequisite the second one is f of x has to be differentiable in an interval a comma b which will be an open interval okay now the third one is that f of a is equals to f of b okay now i'll talk to you from the point of solving your sums see these two will be something which will be given to you okay all you have to do is find your f of a and find your f of b Th that is it okay from there you can start working your um, particular sum or start solving your sum okay so the then what happens is if these three prerequisites are matched then what happens is that they are saying that there exists a point c such that f dash of c will get you zero okay so that a tangent can be drawn at point c okay which will be parallel to x axis let's quickly understand this through the graphical representation this curve is your f of x okay which is supposed to be continuous as well as differentiable in the interval a comma b okay now what they are saying is that in this curve if there are two points at which f of a becomes equal to f of b if that happens then at particular point c the point c is lying between a and b what happens is that when you differentiate f dash of c and make it equal to 0 you will realize that there is a line which can be drawn at this particular point c which will be parallel to x axis so basically you have to put you have to just find point c by making f dash of c equal to 0 now how you will do all of that let's quickly understand by using a method which i generally use when you have to solve all of these sums that is First, you have to understand the steps and once you understand the steps, then you can directly solve any of the questions related to this particular topic. So now what is given over here is these are the basically steps. Okay, so what will be given is the question will have f of x and an interval a comma b and you, what you have to do, you have to find point c. Very first thing what you will do is you will first find find a f of a then f of b and then you will check if f of a is equal to f of b okay now if it is not equal to then you can directly say rose theorem is invalid and put an end to your question or pet put an end to your solution but in case they are equal then what you should do is you will first find your f dash of c and then may find the value of c using f dash of c equal to zero okay once you do that once you find the value of c your entire sum is over okay so now very quickly let's start with the first sum of this particular topic so here the question is verify rolls theorem for f of x which is equal to x square plus 2x minus 8 in the interval minus 4 comma 2 so now how you are going to do your solution very first important thing is we will write down f of x which is equals to x square plus 2x minus 8 and then we will write down a which is equals to minus 4 and b which is equals to 2 ok now first what we will do is put f of x is equals to a okay so now we have f of a is equals to a square plus 2a minus 8 and now we know that a value is minus 4 so instead of a square i'll put minus 4 the whole square plus 2 into a which will be minus 4 minus 8 so here we are getting 16 plus 2 into minus 4 will get you minus 8 and minus 8 will be written as it is okay 
so 16 minus minus 8 so this is 16 minus 8 minus 8 gets you minus 16 so your answer is 0 okay similarly let's put f of x is equals to b so we have f of b is equals to b square plus 2b minus 8 so we will have we'll put 2 instead of b so we have 2 square plus 2 into 2 minus 8 we have 4 plus 2 into 2 is 4 minus 8 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 8 you will get 0 okay now very important you will write therefore f of a is equals to f of b so rolls theorem is valid okay so now what we will do is again we'll write down your f of x which is what x square plus 2x minus 8 and then we will differentiate it we'll first find f dash of x why because you remember in order to find c we need to put f dash of c equal to 0 so first let's differentiate f of x with respect to x so we'll get f dash of x is equals to 2x plus 2 minus sorry minus 0 so this is equals to 2x plus 2 okay now like i said we need to first find f dash of c so we will say put x is equals to c okay so we have f dash of c is equals to 2c plus 2 okay now what we will do is for value of c we can say f dash of c is equals to 0 so what is f dash of c that is nothing but 2c plus 2 is equals to 0 so we have 2c is equals to minus 2 so c is equals to minus 2 upon 2 we have c is equals to minus 1 and that is my answer in order to present your answer you can write this one below the other because i did not have space i have written this one besides the other okay also while putting a box you can put this in a box and you can also put this in a box okay so that will draw the attention of the paper checker okay so now that's it for now. I will very soon see you in my next video. Bye.